going on, guys? I am Dion Thompson. And I'm Dennis Hobson. We, today we have a, a very special guest who decided to pop in. Uh, her name is Jamie Charlotte. She is a coach slash motivational. Well, well Jamie, go ahead. Tell us. <laughs> tell us talk about to yourself. Us. We can just, for, for easy sake, consider as coach. But yeah, motivation and mindset's kind of my thing. It, it is. <laughs> if you, you, you got an awesome Facebook page because every, I feel like every morning, you give up like a, a good jewel, a good nugget, or something that people can really like start their day off. What, what made you start doing that? Uh, actually, it was probably over like three years ago. I don't really know. I think I was going through my own stuff and I had people in group text messages I used to just kind of send motivational messages to because for me to help other people, it made me feel better so I didn't have to focus on my own stuff. And then if there was days that I would forget, they're like, is everything okay? We didn't get our motivational <laughs> message from you. So yeah, it was like three years ago and I, I'm big on, I don't believe in New Year's resolutions because I'm like, I feel like mm. you can take a nap and you can wake up to choose to be a different person right after a nap. So what do you wait till January 1st for? So, uh, but I still use that page to just kind of be a community for everybody to grow together. So I wake up at 4.03 every morning and that's the first thing I do is I post it in that page. So that's the first thing everybody sees. Well, let me say kudos to you waking up at four or three, three every morning. I think, you know, I hey, you get up that early? No. No. Uh, yeah. So no. kudos, to, kudos to you for that. Um, it, you know, I'm an older guy. And, and again, I, I think motivation is very, very important because I find myself at times needing a, 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 a kick in the butt to get going. Right. But, you know, when we talk about motivation, you know, being coaches, we're all coaches up mm -hmm. here. Um, what do you, what do you, what do you, how do you, uh, coaching kids, how do you motivate kids? Um, so actually, whether it be, I work heavily with special needs too, so those are all adults, whether it be even with me coaching adults, like with what I do for my online mm -hmm. coaching business, or if it's a child, I, I don't think it matters what it is. A lot of people get really caught up that they're supposed to be this super hype, awesome, like feel good feeling all the time, where to me, I think it boils down more to habits that like you need something to get excited about, but think of the first time like when you like your parents made you brush your teeth mm -hmm. and you hated it and you forget to do it and everything but then now all of a sudden it's second nature and you don't even think about it so to me motivation and habits i think can go hand in hand if you mm -hmm. you know you're really really struggling with something maybe that's for you to really mm -hmm. you know reflect is this something that i should be doing but then when you have the little boost of motivation mm -hmm. that's the let, addition to the habit let me ask you jamie um like i said i know you post great stuff mm -hmm. you know pretty much yeah. da daily yes. So when, when people inbox you, like, did anybody, did they ever ask you, hey, you know, I'm, I'm struggling today. Mm -hmm. Can you, can you give me something, you yep. know? Yeah. So I, like, I mean, with that, I guess the, the biggest thing is what's really going on for why it is that you're struggling. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where for me, it's hard with the, the mindset coaching that I do. I do dig a little bit deeper, but sometimes people just need some tough love where it's, they, they don't want to be coddled to, but other times they do just need like, hey, I need someone to believe in me. So, so as a mindset coach, because you, you're a cheerleader coach as well, right? Yes, yes. So how do you deal? Is that like a different dynamic? I know my daughter cheers, so <laughs> I, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wondering. Um, like, I, see, it, like, I, I just, I, I'm really big on, you know, like, it's all the way across the board, no matter what okay. you're in, you know, okay. but I mean, so like if you were to come to me and you're like, Jamie, I don't feel like being awake right now at 4.03 a.m. Be like, well, what is it that you want to accomplish today? It may suck right now, but mm -hmm. do, what do you really want to accomplish and how is that going to feel? Mm -hmm. So like being able to like know what's going to kind of give you that um, to want to okay. do mm -hmm. what it is that you want to do. But what, what about, you, we, we're talking about uh, motivating individuals. Mm -hmm. What about a group? Again, I, I'm, I'm kind of going back to yeah, myself okay, as, a, as a coach. Um, right. When you have a group of 12 to 15, mm -hmm. how do you, mo you turn it, the group and you try to motivate all 15 people? I mean, is there a certain way that you do that? Um, I think especially that even all starts with yourself because like you being the coach, you're mm -hmm. the one that's going to set the tone for that practice. So if you're walking in and you're like, I don't want to be here, but then you're like, hey, go do this. Do you think that's going to be very motivating for them? Yeah, you know what I mean? Point. So it's like, I think that, you know, that's where you can be a support system for motivation. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, with kids, it's harder because, you know, mm -hmm. to teach them how to like internally find something to boost them. That's where us as adults come in to do that. But at the end of the day, you can be that person that's like that energy because, you know, you walk into a room and you can tell if something's off. Right. Like someone's just, yeah. you're not vibing with them. Or if you walk in and like, because I get that a lot of times, like I have a very infectious energy. If I'm in a bad mood, like right. you're going to know it and I'm probably gonna 
a little bit drag you down with me. But if I'm like, hey, let's go. Yeah. Are you ready to do something on yeah. this beautiful Sunday? You're yeah. going to be like, dang, I just want to like go that. do something on this <laughs> Sunday. Like yeah. You yeah, know? Like it, it, it's, so, it's like a theory, man. I know in jiu-jitsu, and this is, this is, well, we're on, we can, I can actually talk like this is YouTube. So if you like, they always say if the black belt takes the on the mat, <laughs> what do you think the white belt's going to do? So, you know, I guess you're right. It does start at the top. But let me ask you something. How is it working with special needs mm -hmm. kids? Because that, that, that's a special skill yeah. in and of itself. Sure. You really do. So how, how do you, you know, deal with that? What, uh, what got see, you into it? Um, actually, back when I used to coach cheerleading when I was in Holgate, um, we, part of our, for our competition that we did, our, we, the profits went to a beneficiary of our choice, and we had chose... Uh, the Special Olympics cheer team that competed at our competition. And so since then, it was always near and dear to my heart, and I just wanted to do more with it. Coordinated a 5K back in 2016 here in Toledo for it and wanted to do more. That's how I started coaching cheerleading with it. So, but in all honesty, like, it, it's it's crazy that, you know, like, people don't know what they don't know, but I, I, I'd almost majority of the time rather spend time around special needs individuals mm -hmm. than non-special needs because they're actually all older than me. All my athletes are older than mm -hmm. me. But the second they see me, I could have literally seen them the day before, and they're like, Jamie! And they give me this huge, like, yeah, this huge hug, really and they're just so it. pumped up, and they're just, their outlook on life is so completely different. So honestly, like, they help motivate me mm -hmm. because I'm able to learn off them, but they keep me in a good mood, and like, they, I, I feel good, so I can give a feel-good mm -hmm. vibe back to them. Yeah. And I, I know I've had that opportunity to work with them as well, and you have to show a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. And like you said, they're very energetic, which, mm -hmm. which is a great thing. It kind of right. makes it easier for you. But, yeah, we, we applaud what you do. Just keep oh, keep it up. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, because it's not, it's, it's not an easy, easy job. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people who do that type of work. And it's just so amazing, you know, that people can do that. But just to, like I say, the motivational stuff to me is like, it's amazing because there's a guy I, I follow too named Jocko Willink. And yeah. And yeah, yeah. Jocko gets up early, kind of right. like you. And man, he's got some, if you don't know who he is, look him up on mm -hmm. YouTube. He's got some great stuff. And it's just like, you know, it's really just thought provoking mm -hmm. type stuff. And I, I see you kind of in that same vein, you know, in a, in a sense. Oh. So. Well, well, thank you. Because <laughs> Jocko, I mean, he gets up at five. You know, he talks about getting, you get up at four. It's like, <laughs> Well, so let me ask you guys this, like, so what would you say is, because I think it's different for everybody, what would you say is what motivates you in those moments you don't want to do something? You know, I'm just, I'm just happy to be able to get up. You know, I, I think yeah, being able right. to get up daily is, is, a, is a big motivating factor for mm -hmm. me. Having, I, I, I play for a coach and he would always say, you know, sometimes you don't get do-overs, but every day you get up, that's another do-over, mm -hmm. you know? Right. So I, I just appreciate the fact to be able to get up that kind of motivates yeah. me, but not at right. four, 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 <laughs> two, one. Not, not at four, two. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't. Well, <laughs> you know, with me, I just like, you know, um, being a jiu-jitsu black belt and having a school and seeing my guys, the look on their face when they, when they finally right. do something, mm -hmm. when they get that aha moment. That's right. what it is for me, you know. And then, you know, with TV, Dennis, we, we love doing yeah. TV. This is why this is kind of cool, this little podcast mm -hmm. YouTube show for us because we get a chance to have fun and right. it's like, bring on guests like yes. yourself and just, because there's so many people outside. That's why we said we want to go outside of sports. Yes. Because there's so many people doing great things kind of outside of sports. Because you do a lot of, you do a lot of stuff. And you, actually you could touch on that too. I mean, I know you're, you coach, but you're well-rounded, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, like one reason why I asked that though is because like, you know, you, you started, you start your day with gratitude. Mm -hmm. So right there, that's a habit. Mm -hmm. You choose to be like, you know what? I could either be like, oh, I have to get up today or right. I, I had right. the opportunity to wake up today. So that was a, still a habit mm -hmm. you had to instill. Mm -hmm. For you, cool. that was that sense of motivation is that when you're feeling down, if you're like, you know what? But earlier today I was reflecting and there was this aha moment mm -hmm. for my student, yeah, you know? Sure. And that's, you know, I think that's what it is too, is that people being more mindful and right. aware of what it is to be able to, get that motivation. Well, so. you just gave us a ther quick therapy yeah, session. Hey, there you yeah, go. That, that, All I, starts I, and ends in your mind. We all need it, right? We all need it. But Jamie, honestly, thank you so much for, for coming on um, our little show. I mean, we just... Thank you for having me. Yeah, we, we, we love stuff like that. We know you took time out of your day and hopefully, you know, we'll be able to catch up again because this is this is good stuff and people need to hear this stuff. 